And happy Monday, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Fresh Living. We have a really good show today. I'm here at Hogel Zoo at Zoo Lights for the annual celebration. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Fresh Living. We're here with Tori Baker from the Salt Lake Film Society. How you doing, Tori? <laughs> doing great. Good. <laughs> and as you know, Utah is renowned all over the world for the Sundance Film Festival. For somebody who's lived in Utah for a couple years, I am kind of intimidated because I don't know what to do to be a part of Sundance. Yeah. So what would be the easiest way for me to Well, it's get very involved? easy. The easiest way to get involved is try to get involved with the film society beforehand as well. Kara, how's it going out there? It's going pretty well. Thanks, Mark and Shauna. Right now I'm here with Major Green from the Salvation Army and Channel 2 is proud to be uh, associated with this. This is our 17th year and I know that the Salvation Army is involved in a lot of community charities, but what does Angel Tree mean to you? If you got one of these cards from Macy's Department Stores, the Cypress Credit Union, or the Grand America Hotel, they all meet back here and they are organized by boxes. So as you can see, there have been lots of people working really, really hard on this to make Christmas and happy holidays for children all over Utah. That's a very good question, Mark. So if you look back here, this store is donations that people have brought in that we fill the unadopted angels with. So if there was a child that was not picked up, do not worry. They will not be left out. We will take care of each and every child this year with the donations that you have brought in. If you want to continue to bring out more donations, we are taking them readily and eagerly, and it's encouraged. So, so you can always drop off whatever you need. And a lot of people are looking for ways to volunteer this year and to get more involved and to kind of seize the Christmas spirit. And it sounds like coming down there and volunteering is a great way to do that, Kara. That's right, Shauna. You can definitely give the gift of your time. We will take it. <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys. So I think I am further wussifying America right now because yeah. I'm such a baby. I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> right behind Kara there is the floor to the final four court. That is How so cool. cool is that? I know, right? And you guys can come down here, 700 West, 900 South, and actually sign the banner today. And right now I'm with Jeff Morton, who is the director of marketing here. And what's going on today, Jeff? And we can't see what's in the truck because they had to go through weatherproofing and it's all wrapped up. But there is a piece right here. Don't worry, Ron, we'll put it back in the floor before they start <laughs> playing. <laughs> but we're here with Jeff now. And Jeff, go ahead and kind of explain to us what we're looking at. And coming up, more from Fit Club Utah 2007. 2008, 2000. <laughs> okay, let's check back in with Kara. She is learning about plants and stuff, and you were in 4-H, so you already know some of this stuff, right? Well, I pretend that I do, okay. but I'm getting re-educated this morning. And speaking of the end of the world, we have all the bases covered here at okay. Mountain Valley Seed Company. You can actually purchase an emergency seed kit, right, Lance? Yeah, it's uh, emergency prepared storage seed to put in your uh, supplement your food storage. And wow. you can get that online? Yeah, you can get them on our website or some of our, our retailers like uh, Emergency Essentials, The Ready Store, some of those places, IFA carry, carry this can seed as well. So if you happen to escape the rapture and you need to start growing a garden, <laughs> look, look no further than mvseeds.com. Right. right. Well, actually, uh, a lot of people would probably like to be caught up in the rapture instead of left behind. So we'll... Yeah. Whatever your right. preference is, Ron. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to you. Well, if you got a can of seeds, you're good you're to go. You're set. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Kara. We'll check back. Okay. So Kara is out at Miller Motorsports Park this morning. Kara? That's right. We've been hanging out here all morning, and we've told you about the teen driving school. We've told you about the Mustang experience, but really, Bill and I were just talking when Larry Miller built this facility. He wanted people to fall in love with and appreciate racing. So we're hanging out at Monster Truck Jam, which is tonight and tomorrow here at Energy Solutions Arena, and we're with Rod again, who drives Grave Digger, and we're going to kind of talk about the car. So I have a couple rules in life. One is carry a big purse so my butt looks smaller, and two <laughs> is That's a good idea. <laughs> and two is stand next to monster trucks so I also look smaller than I actually am. It's by uh, Lady Gaga. It's awesome. our arrangement of that. So Gaga, I love that ooh la song. la. <laughs> All right, take it away. Okay, so Kara, we have some finalists here, and 
one of these students will win this car. That's right. We're going to give it away. Minutes. The excitement is mounting. We're talking to some sponsors, yes, right? Yes, yes, because it takes so much to put this together, as we've said before. And they also give away scholarships throughout the year. So we have Brent from Paul Mitchell and Hallie from UVU. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, thank you. We're so proud of our sponsorship with uh, Keys to Success. It's an amazing organization, and we love giving scholarships to the kids, and they're still available. Okay, great. Thanks. And for you, Hallie, UVU has been involved. You give away over 60 scholarships. We have uh, Kara kind of in a boot camp this morning. That's right. I want to touch on the swimsuit story uh -huh. for a second okay. because that's really impressive. And I just want to say that I'm also comfortable in my swimsuit as long as I have clothes on over it. Yeah, or as long as it's on a hanger. Or, or if I'm <laughs> in my house, not out in public, then I'm okay with it. Right. <laughs> or if I, yeah, if I'm in the privacy of my own home, I could wear my swimsuit for days. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we're at fitclubutah.com. I'm going to jump back in there and try not to embarrass myself. But really, the goal of this morning is just to make you feel better about yourself. So we're in West Jordan. We'll be hanging out here all morning, Fit Club Utah. And uh, I'm going to try to lift the tires next time, I promise. Well, you're already on the right track. You're being active. And that's all That's it right. Takes. That's so. right. Yeah, usually, Mary, these boxes, now I would just usually sit on them. Yeah. And watch so, TV. <laughs> right. They jump on them. Put popcorn on it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Right. Those are great to hold the cheese. Yeah, and when my husband and I moved into our new place, we were carrying these big, like, huge crates up the stairs and I was like what are in these guess what was in them what <laughs> this is so Stuff wrong you've had for I'm totally what? outing you baseball cards <laughs> so in honor of Thanksgiving okay um what celebrity would you guys like to have at your Thanksgiving table oh I oh invited Oprah she couldn't come really but she's giving away like cars and diamonds lately <laughs> Welcome back to Fresh Living. We're now in the kitchen here with Kathy Morris from Viking Cooking School. And I'm so excited that I get to do this segment because I love to cook, but I feel like when I get in the kitchen, I don't have the proper foundation, which is obviously your knife skills. Exactly. Uh, and if you don't want to bundle up and go outside, there are plenty of activities to do inside with your kids. We're talking about all things kids this morning. And hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Fresh Living. How's uh -oh. it going? You can hear that, huh? It's all about boys. <laughs> I know, this show is, we have a really good show, but it might be a little bit more exciting for me than you. Well, you or know I what? don't know, maybe. Just consider me a cheerleader then. What are we talking about? We're talking about Cosmo's Hottest Bachelors. Kara is out on the plaza, and Kara, you have Matt Gephardt with you, you have some radio DJs. And now Ron. Right, and this is all for a good cause. I do. It's a happening party out here this morning. It's all for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Go to UrbanChallengeUtah.com and see how you can participate. They're taking individuals, teams of two, and it's kind of like your own little amazing race around Salt Lake City, which is really cool. So now we're here with Utah Grizzly, Jackson, and Jackson, you guys are involved with Make-A-Wish. Welcome back to Fresh Living. We're here with Bill Holterstrom, who is the president and CEO of the United Way in Utah County. Thanks so much for joining us, Bill. Glad to be here. And we were discussing um, what is an age appropriate time in a child's life to get started in volunteering. A lot of my memories, you know, going to the nursing home, doing things with my mom, doing a church activity, something of that nature really kind of spurs your interest for further volunteering. So what about as we get older? Kara Kinnear is in the newsroom with information about how you can help. Thanks, Christina. The minutes are winding down. We only have a couple minutes left to help out the Humane Society of Utah. So pick up your phone, dial that number. Right now I'm here with Jean Bearschmidt. And Jean, what do we need help with the most? And you guys can come out, 900 South, 700 West, and actually sign the banner that is on the truck for the final floor that's rolling the floor into Houston, beginning of April. And they're having lots of activities here today. They're giving away free prizes. So come out to Connor Sport Court and see what it's all about. It's really, really cool, you guys. Back to you. So last night was kind of fun for me. Um, Roseanne Barr was in town. Who is a native of That's Utah, right. right? That's right. And she was right across the street at Sam Weller's signing her new book, Roseanne Arkey, um, Dispatches from a Nut Farm. So I got to hop over there and chat with her and check it out. We're here at Sam Weller's downtown with a special treat today. We are talking with Roseanne Barr, who has wrote her third book. It's called Roseanne Arkey, Dispatches from a Nut Farm. And Roseanne, you actually live on a nut farm, correct? I do. I live in, on a Hawaiian nut farm. Yeah. On MSN Health, they had the eight germiest places. And you would think, like, the computer and the phone, like, natural we've heard that office. a lot. Right, right, right. But those weren't on the list. They didn't even make the okay, list. Okay, lay it on so, me. What should okay. I get concerned about So they now? were saying restaurant menus.
That's right, and Salt Lake County officials are telling us that the 17-year-old special needs student was traveling home from school on the school bus right here on 400 South when he either fell or jumped out of the back emergency door. Now, we spoke with Utah County Patrolman Todd Johnson, and he says that the bus driver didn't even notice that he had fallen out and kept on driving. Coming up, we spoke to a man who stumbled upon a robbery in progress. Find out how his actions helped save a man's life. It was a quick thinking customer who sprang into action that might have saved his life. Kara Kinnear joins us now from outside the shop in Midvale. And Kara, what did the customer do? That's right, Ron. It's really a heroic story. William Henderson was shopping in the store like he normally does when he noticed an altercation between the sales clerk and the now jailed 46 year old Burnett, Robin Lee Burnett, that is, and he immediately sprung into action. In the Salt Lake Valley, we throw away quite a bit. We take in an average of 1,500 tons per day. And that adds up. That's more than a billion pounds per year, or 110,000 elephants. 250,000 Ford escapes, or roughly the same weight as the space shuttle. And that's just what goes into the Salt Lake County landfill every year. How many more years can the landfill possibly last? Recycle coordinator Ashley Yoder says then we will be looking for a new dump to dump all of our junk. So when this landfill is forced to close, we will have to ship our garbage to privately owned landfills in other counties, meaning for Salt Lake City residents, our garbage fees could go up a thousand percent. Means if you're paying, uh, say, $300 a year now on your property taxes, that could go to $3,000 a year. The thing is, the landfill doesn't have to be this full. About half of what's in the landfill is actually recyclable, or it was. It's too late to recycle now. Um, we've all experienced that the instruction on our recycle bin not to contaminate what's in our bin with food and other items. Well, items in the landfill have been contaminated. The Salt Lake County is unique. It is one of but a handful of major counties in our country where a landfill is so close and convenient to homeowners. But in about 50 years or so, it's going to be a lot less convenient and a lot more expensive. For 2 News, I'm Kara Kinnear.